there's some shady stuff that happens in armed forces in the u.s we have don't ask don't tell definitely put armed forces higher on this list <laughs> the u.s does not have don't ask don't tell anymore <laughs> like okay okay <laughs> sure they don't <laughs> this one survey says some jobs you know just make it more likely for people to cheat Ooh. you know what they're with their coworkers mostly nasty jobs you know this this survey was was like from a gambling company or something it was mad random mm -hmm. but they 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 have the top 10 um most uh common cheating jobs like or <laughs> industries uh <laughs> so they say you know number one you know people who work in sales you know they stacked up as the top cheaters with a striking 14.5% admitting to having workplace affairs, man. Mm. You know, we talk about salespeople. I mean, we just talked about the woman selling herself on OnlyFans. So <laughs> I guess this shouldn't be too much of a surprise. <laughs> was this surprising to you that sales was number one? And do you think 14%, 14.5% is a lot? Uh, I'm not surprised by that at all. It, if you've been in any corporate environment where they have a sales team, you're probably aware that they have very, their culture is similar to Greek life in college. Mm. Um, very frat and soror kind of, you know, outings, drinking, turning up, um, traveling a lot, uh, late nights, grind into the end of the quarter, pause, well, <laughs> You get what I'm saying. You're just trying to close those last minute deals um, and and open the new ones. So it's just uh, it's not surprising at all. Yeah, I do want to clarify though this uh, this survey, like you said, it was a gambling company and it polled like 3,800 people in the UK. The UK. Yeah, I feel like the UK and the US are kind of similar. I don't know, man. I don't. I, I don't know because when they talk about the UK, that includes like Scotland. It includes like all Wales. those, yeah, Wales. Like it, it includes a few different places where it's kind of country. Mm. So it's, we have a lot of country places here too. Oh, that's for that's for a fact. That is definitely true. Yeah, yeah. A lot of a lot of people took hits, man. The second most common cheaters are in <laughs> education, and I know you worked at a university. You know. I did. Your parents or teacher. You have you have a lot of people in your family working in education. Mm -hmm. um, did it's this a noble profession. That's <laughs> why I was when I saw this on the list. I was like, "Where is this from? I don't know if this is right." <laughs> but come on, people in education. You know they. Oh, they, they definitely work, get nasty. They work in close quarters. Mm -hmm. I mean, we also were students at one, some points, and That's true. I'm sure we noticed some trends with yeah. teachers, not only amongst. The other faculty, but with also children. Also. I had multiple jobs on campus when I was in college. Mm. I had like three different jobs. I was a working dude, man, trying to get that money. But uh, working, I hope you weren't selling ass. Like <laughs> no, I, I was not. I was not. <laughs> you know, I, I tried to. I tried to avoid those sorts of interactions in the yeah. workplace, just because it's not. It's not great. It's not great. They, they have the saying, "Don't shit where you eat" for a reason. Yeah. Don't uh, don't do it where you get your paycheck either. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, people people are working together, you know, long hours, yeah. you know. The people say we talked about, you know, work wives and work husbands in the past. And, yes, we have. You know, the I would say education and sales, I would assume, but I wouldn't think those were the tops, but Yeah. It makes sense, you know. They said 13.7% uh in the survey said, you know, we're from education. Mm. Uh, that's crazy, man. The the rest of um, <laughs> the rest of the industries were healthcare, transports and logistics, hospitality and event management, engineering and manufacturing, hmm. property and construction, accounting, banking and finance, information technology, and the armed forces, which. I feel like people cheat in every industry Doug, like at I, that point. I, th my thing is like, and, and <laughs> when I looked at this list, I definitely would like move some things around. I would say probably number one, I would think healthcare or, and, and then like hospitality events management. Those are probably definitely high up there. Yeah. Um, 
I think sales is definitely high up there. Maybe not number one necessarily, but it's definitely probably top three, top four. And then I would go with taking the armed forces and moving that way higher. Mm. I really would. Um, there's some shady stuff that happens in armed forces in the U.S. We have don't ask, don't tell. In the U.K., I don't know what they have. Maybe they don't have as many women in the armed forces. I don't know, but I would definitely put armed forces higher on this list. <laughs> the U.S. does not have, don't ask, don't tell anymore. <laughs> like, okay, okay, sure they don't. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. I mean, yeah, that was the thing. Um, yeah. The I, it doesn't. It doesn't surprise me. I feel like it could happen in any workplace. I feel like a lot of these work uh, places were like essential workers like mm -hmm. throughout COVID. Yeah. Um, they were stressed. <laughs> they were stressed. They had to relieve the stress. Yeah. Yeah. But salespeople, I never trust salespeople. Sorry. Like, I, I don't like, I feel like they're fake and that's just what it is. They just want to sell you something. Mm. So if they want something, you know, they're going to work hard to get it. True. And, you know, try to sell something just to kind of benefit themselves. Um, so, yeah, I feel like they're a little bit selfish culturally. So it doesn't make, it doesn't surprise me that they're number one. Education also doesn't surprise me. Uh, all this, it just makes sense. Uh, what did surprise me is, you know, the chart that, you know, it was like, did the affair ever come to light with your partner? And 22% said that, you know, their partner never found out, but they were in the smaller <laughs> percentage. Yo, the, to <laughs> the top reasons, <laughs> the top reasons they got caught out there is that, you know, someone at work told them about it at 17%. Oh. At 14.6%, you know, they were actually spotted by their partner's friend who told them. Damn. And in third place, they found out through messages and apps mm. on the phone, which I, I thought would be the first. And then right after that, it is, you know, 9.8% that they found out on social media. Damn. Um, and then after How that, it's like. How do you find like, out on social media, though? Like, are you posting and, like, somebody catches you in the background or something? Like, what? I feel like. How could that happen? We all we've all been to like holiday parties and happy hours at work, and we've all seen things happen. So that's true. You that's know, true. maybe someone saw it on the story. They did say earlier. They said twenty five percent of the affairs happened on the clock mm. at holiday parties. Oh my God! You gotta watch. It. Holidays are coming, guys. Yeah, watch out. They are. They are. <laughs> you never know what Santa's gonna bring. Maybe you getting cheated on. Um, Put those phones away. <laughs> Oh my God! Yo, the three point seven percent I contracted an STD. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, that makes the most <laughs> sense, though. I mean, it getting caught to me, but like, it, that's crazy. Like, yeah. six point one percent accidentally slipped out. Like, how the hell? Oh yeah, I was fucking Stacy last week. Oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's crazy. Oh, my God. But, yeah, 22% were never found out, like, which I feel like it's a pretty low number. So most people who are, you know, uh, cheaters, they get they get caught one way or another. Yeah. Troy, did any, anything stand out to you, like, from, from this poll? No, I'm not, I'm not really surprised. I've been working with salespeople for 10 years. Mm. I've heard a lot of stuff about some of the salespeople I work with. Yeah. about like unfortunately you know broken marriages and stuff like that firsthand so mm -hmm. um it doesn't surprise me at all yeah yeah i i just recently um uh, heard from someone i used to work with that uh my one of my old managers they found out that they were being cheated on by their husband um with their best friend damn and they've got like multiple kids together yeah nasty stuff nasty stuff wow Everybody be safe out there. <laughs> Thoughts be, and prayers. Be uh be honest and trustworthy and loyal to your partners. If you if you if you're not trying to be with them, then then end the relationship. Yeah. Subscribe on YouTube, subscribe on Spotify, follow on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, like all the apps. All the apps. We're everywhere. We are everywhere. everywhere. <laughs>